my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. I know I'm super nasally, I have a sinus infection, so please bear with me. I've been really sick with the flu and then got the sinus infection, so I haven't been filming very much, but I hope everybody had wonderful holidays. I don't know when this video is going up. I'm filming it on the 29th, I believe. Yes, it's the 29th as I am filming. So I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and whatever you guys celebrate. Happy holidays, just everything in general. And a wonderful New Year if this gets posted after New Year. So I just wanted to give that quick little shout out. And as usual, timestamps will be listed down below so you can navigate around this video. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. It really means so much to me. Now this video shout out goes to Erica Banks. Erica Banks, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas back at you, even though it's a belated one. I know I was just too sick over Christmas and the whole holiday to film or do anything, so I couldn't be like getting back at you guys, and I apologize so much because I really wanted to be like writing you guys, filming for you. Trust me, not filming for you was driving me crazy like I think Kurt heard me whine no less than 200 times even though I was in agony I'm like well maybe oh no I can't do it and then I would like go wash my face and like get all my day creams on and I'm like hey maybe I can do it and I go to put a shirt on and then like sweat would start dripping I'm like I just want to film for everybody and I couldn't <laughs> for the well wishes along with everybody else you guys really brightened up my day I was so sick and all of those wonderful Merry Christmas wishes meant so much to me and they all go right back to you so I love you guys so much now this video is um, very bougie it is on two Chanel highlighters and one Burberry all limited edition <laughs> I told you it was gonna be bougie. Uh, actually, somebody requested that I, or asked rather, if I would be reviewing the limited edition Chanel highlighters. And I had fully intended on buying these and then forgot about them. I don't know how the heck I forgot about them, but I did. And I think it's because these highlights you can only purchase from Chanel's website directly. And my last two years where I usually spend Christmas money on a Chanel bag or Chanel jewelry, it's been going into paying off debt for this channel. So I don't go to Chanel anymore because it's a tease. Uh, so I went to Neiman Marcus and Saks to look up their highlights and I picked up a different highlighter from Chanel that I haven't put to the test yet. We'll still put this baby to the test. But these are the two limited edition ones and they're the ones with the lion. So this is Le Cine du Lion and we have Or Blanc and Or, or Rosé which is just like gold rose and gold white and I did swatch both of them. I used the gold white today which it really is silver. There's the lion head. You have to kind of get your brush like give it a good scratch and then boom there's pigmentation. This is so beautiful, so buildable. You can have such a light glow or you can blind the haters till they need to wear sunglasses. It is fantastic. You get this really beautiful, oh, this way, little cup thingy to keep it protected. And you get a really nice brush. It says Chanel. And it's actually a brush that has like this dome to it, this curve right in here. There's a curve. So it's very nice to actually hold. 
So I didn't put this to the test and I meant to, but I think this will be a really great little brush to have on hand and it's so nice to hold. And then that fits in here just right on top so you don't have like the double compartments or anything like that. And of course it came in its own little dust bag because it's Chanel and Chanel needs to have its own dust bag, duh. And then Chanel actually sent me three little beauty samples that I did show during the unboxing that I cannot find right now because um, when I got sick for the last couple of weeks reorganizing the beauty room got put to a halt and it's even worse of a disaster than it was before and then we have Or Rose which is just really their French fancy way of saying their rose gold and this swatch is so blinding and so beautifully you have no idea this is stunning. They are $70 a piece. It is Chanel. Um, so you're paying for Chanel, obviously, but the formula is amazing. So at least you're not just paying for a brand name and not getting something that performs incredibly well. And the way it melts into the skin, it is just, mmm. I had to go get my nails done and I got so many compliments on my highlight today and my eye look today. It was just like, oh, 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 the, the, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I was crazy. And then I wanted to put to the test this limited edition Burberry for you guys before it's gone for good, which is the one with the silver bow. It's really hard if I hold it. There we go, because the reflect. And I took my little Sigma fan brush that I always use to like spot highlight. Oh my gosh, this one is so much more pigmented than the other Burberry highlighters, which I'm obsessed with already. I actually started putting it on and I was like, um, okay, switch sides. Let's get rid of some more pigment over here. Now let's blend out over here. Now let's go back over here. Like there was so much pigment. I couldn't like... It was insanity. Wait till you see this. So I do swatch all three highlights for you. We do put two to the test on the face. They are blinding, they are beautiful, they are buildable. You're gonna need sunglasses before this one gets blended out. Let me warn you now, it is just like, it's incredible. <laughs> but this, I like Burberry, bring it baby. Like this is metallic. I didn't know Burberry would release like metallic. This has such a feel to like uh, the new metallic hourglass ambient metallic strobe lighting. Like it's so metallic yet so glowy and just beautiful at the same time. Like even though it's like that bam, it's still so gorgeous. I don't know how they make such a metallic bang and highlight so effortless. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just struggling. <sighs> but if you guys are prepared and are ready for the blinding to begin, then just keep on watching. Boom! <laughs> I was just about to come on camera to do a demo and first impressions on the limited edition oh my god I can't even talk I'm so excited <laughs> on the limited edition Burberry highlighter with the silver bow because I think that will tie in so perfectly with the look I've got going on but I placed an order on Chanel for their two limited edition highlighters and they just got delivered. I haven't peeked and I need to look. Like, I need to look. So even if we can't use these today, guys, I cannot wait for when I can film these. Sorry for the nasal congestion. I have a sinus infection. I'm still sick, flu and everything, but I'm getting better. But that's why I'm so nasally. So we're going to unbox this baby. I took her out of the gross packaging, but we're going to unbox her. You can only buy the Chanel limited edition highlighters from Chanel directly. I checked Neiman Marcus and Saks. Neiman Marcus has another beautiful Chanel highlighter that I also have here that I have not tested yet, but these are 
are the two limited edition ones, so let's look at them. They're $70 a piece. Yes, I know. Look at that. It has like that, you know, old school, back in the day type of stamp on it. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. Okay. Oh, they gave me a gift. Hold on, we'll get to the gift. One second, let me get these babies out. So that's what the packaging looks like, because this is a mess. It's one of those boxes. It has a nice burgundy. This reminds me, though, of the Kevin O'Quan. It's not, you know, ombre, but that packaging color reminds me of Kevin O'Quan. This is so exciting! Ah, I've never had a Chanel highlighter. I have a lot of Chanel different kinds of makeup like eyeliners, mascaras, their cream bronzer, uh, foundations, you know, so many different things, but I've never actually tried a Chanel highlighter. What did they send me? Oh, there's quite a few things in here. Hydra Beauty Micro Serum, Intense Replenishing Hydration. I didn't even know I'd be getting samples. Protection Radiance. So these are all part of their Hydra Beauty. Oh, no, this is a blue serum. Hydra Beauty Creme. Hydration Protection Radiance. And a blue serum. Day Night Serum for the Face. And it came in a little Chanel baggie. Well, thank you, Chanel. Now, I cannot remember if this is gonna, what the colors are like, but let's get into this. So this is Le Cine du Lyon um, Illuminating Powder or Blanc. So this might be like a nice champagne. And of course, our makeup needs a dust bag. I mean, duh. Ooh, she's sexy. Hello. Wrong side. Comes with a brush. Oh, that's a nice brush. It like goes in this way here. So when you're holding it, oh, ooh. that's actually a really nice one. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. See, it's, that's how cold it is. It just got delivered. That's how freaking cold it is. But I want you guys to see the lion. Look at him. Boom. Yay! We're gonna play with silver. We'll do a little swatch in a second. And then I got or rose. This must be a beautiful rose gold. Yes, it is. Oh. Lion head. Get it together, Tanya. <laughs> All right. Well, this is awesome. I love. I don't even want to touch it to swatch it. I can't believe how badly it's fogging up. It should really... It's gonna be, hold on, such a beautiful shine. I wanna make these big, nice highlights. There we go. What? Look at Chanel bringing it to the table. Hello. I don't know why, but I was ex expecting subtlety. Damn, that's beautiful. Now let's go in for the other one, which was Or Blanc. They essentially mean gold rose and gold white. So gold white is what we will be playing with, and then we may even incorporate some Burberry. 
big swatcheroo of her. I cannot believe it! Let me do a swatch of the Burberry that I was going to do until I heard uh, EPS at the door. Look how pretty that is. It is so reflective that my camera can't even pick it up. Maybe we'll do a little spot highlight testing with this one. Yeah, because that one's like powerful silver. Yeah, so I'm going to lay this one down as a base and then probably do a little spotlight with that one. And then wait for the day. My camera's blinded. Wait for the day that I can use a rose gold. Boom. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to play with Chanel and Burberry and I have colored rain on and it's a good day. I'm going to zoom you guys in now. All right, taking my Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki brush, we're going to give her a swirl. The line head is staying intact. I mean, she's fierce. He's fierce. He's fierce. She's fierce. Oh, it is pretty subtle. Okay, my beat needs a good. Oh, there we go. Scratch a roo. Okay, yep, the top layer just needed a little. Hello. Oh my god! Dang! Look at that glow! Bring it Chanel! All right, here is Chanel on her own. I really am impressed. I wasn't expecting such a blinding glow. I was expecting like this beautiful glow that would be like just every day. I wasn't expecting it to be able to be so buildable. And it is so buildable, which I love. You can have the most subtle glow or you can just like Bam, gorgeousness. All right, now we're gonna take the Burberry Silver Shimmer Illumina Illuminating Powder, the bow tie one. I think this is just limited edition for the holidays. And this is my Sigma Strobing Fan F42. Ooh, okay, I may have gone in a little heavy. Holy cow. Apparently, Burberry is not Chanel. Ah! You guys better be wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Whoa. Just. <sighs> yeah, so that just happened. I'm not mad at it. So if you guys pick this one up, a little bit goes a really long way. <laughs> Whoa. So it has decided to become not a spotlight because I had to blend it out so much. Which is, you know what? It's the holidays. It's totally fine. Let's blend. And let's just paint ourselves in highlight. 
This is really beautiful. I need to make it even. <laughs> it's a little intense for a Cupid's bow highlight. We are going to keep going though because, oh my god, I'm living for this one. Don't get me wrong, I am obsessed with Chanel, but like, we are going to make this look as holiday as possible. Because New Year's Eve is like right around the corner. <laughs> All right, here is a Burberry on top of Chanel. We're blinding, we're glowing, we're living, we're loving. <laughs> so I highly recommend all of these highlighters. They are fantastic. All right, you guys, I know that these are pricey. That doesn't even begin to describe it expensive AF. Like there's no getting around the price tags of Chanel, Burberry, Dior, Gucci. When you're getting into that realm of luxury highlights, luxury makeup, when you step beyond high end and you're in that luxury realm, it's just a crazy price point. It's not just then competing with Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath makeup, which is like so world renowned because of their makeup artistry, their makeup skills, them being a makeup artist first and just being like the most incredible makeup artists. So you have them and you have like this luxury makeup at the same time. So those two brands, people, <laughs> women kind of are in that same level for price points as luxury branded makeup. So that's why there's such a price point. I mean, you're paying for Chanel, you're paying for Dior, Burberry, you know what I mean? You're also paying for quality. I am glowing to the gods and beyond and this is so beautiful. The way it just melted into the skin while just like I'm gonna be blinding all the haters today. It's just, it's incredible. So it's not like they're just slapping Chanel and slapping Burberry on the highlight formula and then selling it for a ridiculously high price point. There really truly is an amazing performance behind whatever spectacular formulation is in these powders. So I'm happy that they're not just trying to get away with, you know, here's a Chanel limited edition highlighter, it's gonna be gone, and then you guys are never gonna be able to get your hands on it, and it sucks. It doesn't, it truly is amazing. Once you kinda like, you know, Brush up your brush in there, you will have pigment. They are buildable, they are beautiful. You can have such a most inner glow to a blinding glow. I mean, there's just no way around it. These are amazing, both of them. The Burberry one took my breath away. I was not expecting that, but after like just setting it with some Fix Plus, it just like melted into the skin. Like this is a highlight that would be emphasizing everything because it is metallic. And I mean, I have a couple little issues going on because TMI, it's that time of the month. Um, but good news, health-wise, from the cancer standpoint and the molar pregnancy and all of that, it looks like I'm in the clear. So it looks like I'm back on normal track, normal periods, just for all my fawns who wanted the update. It looks like I'm, I'm getting there and I'm gonna be cleared. So 2018 is gonna be our year. But anyway, highlights, definitely on point. If you guys can pick one up for something special, treat yourselves. Beg the hubby, your girlfriend, whatever. I just, 
I don't know, they really truly are magnificent highlighters. I wouldn't tell you guys if I didn't truly believe that and I really do believe that these are amazing. But at the end of the day, I totally get that these are ridiculous in price point. I get that. But you're not going to find Chanel highlighters at a drugstore price point or Burberry. You know, it just kind of comes with the territory. But you can at least know that they're going to perform exactly how you want. You know, that light glow, heavy glow, in between glow, layering on top of other highlights works incredibly well. So at least you know you're getting a bomb product despite how expensive it is. So I really hope that this video was helpful and exciting because it excited the crap out of me. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.